Okay, um, could you tell us a little bit about your background, your, uh, where do you come from, where do you, what have you studied earlier, um, previous jobs, and so on? Hi, my name is Martha Inga. So, my background, I was trained and have worked as a healthcare worker, um, working on a specialist liver transplant unit at the Cromwell Hospital in London. I worked there many years before I started studying at university. So I studied um, psychology, BSc in psychology. I have a master in neuroscience from Institute of Psychiatry and a PhD from the Department of Neuropathology at King's College. And um, I have a doctor of philosophy from University of Bergen. So uh, what are you doing here at the University of Bergen currently? Could you uh, tell us a little bit about your project? So my project has a focus on glioblastoma multiforme. It's the mo most malignant brain tumor in adults. Uh, according to the current uh, incidence, it's one in 200, approximately, one in 200 people will develop a malignant tumor in um, their lifetime. So I work with these uh, tumors. The, um, uh, the, uh, the prognosis of the treatment is currently uh, only about 14.6 uh, uh, months. So new therapies are needed. So I'm working um, with trying to uh, characterize the status of the immune system in patients to understand why their tumors escape detection and destruction by the immune system with the ultimate aim of developing a novel immunotherapy strategy for treating these patients with natural killer cells. Um, could you um, tell us a little bit about your um, research group and, and what methods and the techniques and machinery you're using in, in the lab and in your research? Um, because of my background uh, working with patients, contact with patients, uh, this gave me a very strong um, clinical f footprint. So it's very important to me to work as close as possible with patient samples with the clinical question at hand. So we have a s collaboration with the neurosurgical department where we established a um, brain tumor biobank. So I, because I'm working with patient samples and large cohort uh, population controls, I use a lot of high dimensional flow cytometry. So I use a lot of cytometer at, so cytometers at the um, MIC uh, facility. Um, I'm also very interested in, I have projects where we are examining um, uh, pharmacological agents to sensitize uh, tumors to, Im to immune cell detection. So currently I have one PhD student, one postdoc, uh, a master student and a, and a medical student, uh, but I have at the moment two vacancies out for short term um, positions uh, as a researcher uh, under announcement as we speak. Um. What do you do outside of academia when you're not doing research at the University of Bergen? Uh, hobbies, interests? Outside uh, academia, I have hands full. As a mother, I have an 11 year old boy that uh, I have to keep uh, active uh, and away from uh, computer games. Um, I'm also an avid uh, Taekwondo athlete. Uh, so I train Taekwondo, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. Um, and I am involved uh, in the club um, Vaughan Taekwondo Club. Uh, I'm actually a member of uh, the executive board uh, there. So, yeah, so I'm busy there and I, I also am a trainer for children um, in Taekwondo. So, um, the topic of this year's uh, HSE event is how to use music, uh, arts, colors, etc., aesthetics in, in daily work life to to improve the, the quality of the, the working day and, and life in general. Um, do you use any of that in your regular work life or, or your regular day? Yes, I, I, in my office I have a lot of plants and flowers. Um, this it may sound f uh, frivolous, but uh, I um, ga gain very much uh, inspiration and um, uh, motivation and creativity from having these um, plants in my environment. Um, it's been shown, in fact, some research has shown that um, 
plants in business uh, environments, they um, increased creativity. So people were able to, this, the researchers were able to show that people were able to come up with 10 new ideas <laughs> um, uh, a day when they were in, in, uh, exposed to these environments. So I find that um, really great. I don't know if it inspires creativity on my part, but I feel a sense of well-being having these around me. Uh, and of course, they have a practical uh, uh, benefit in that they uh, suck up all the carbon dioxide that we breathe out and give back oxygen, which helps to keep uh, you alert and improve concentration. So apart from all the aesthetic, uh, this is, of course, a very practical benefit. Thank you very much. You're welcome.